Students at a Manning High School will have a second day of e-learning after bats were found in the school gymnasium. WIS reporter Sam Shapiro was in Clarendon County with what the district is doing to mitigate the problem. I spoke with Clarendon County School spokesperson Dr. Kisa Carr. She told me the school district is working to make sure there are no more bats flying around the Manning High School gymnasium. She says the school district has now had two crews come in to inspect the school building over the last 24 hours. This all started Friday last week when bats were first spotted inside the gym. The school district couldn't provide me an exact number, but they told me they found more than one in the school's gymnasium while opening the building for the day. We did have South Carolina pest control out on yesterday and they were there throughout the evening with no sightings of bats. So we hope that it's cleared up. Since that initial sighting Friday, school officials closed the gym for all activities. Pest control came out Wednesday night for a first inspection with a follow up inspection Thursday. The district says no bats were found during either inspection. We've been in touch with DHEC, of course, wildlife management to ensure that we're taking the right steps to ensure that we alleviate any future occurrences um, of bats in our building. While students will stay online Friday, teachers have had the option to work from their classrooms. Director of DHEC's Rabies Prevention Program, Terry McAllister, explains since most teachers are staying in a non-infected area, teaching online students from school is still safe for them. And the bats were only um, located in the gymnasium, so if administration are following the guidelines, which are to ensure the safety of their staff, stop them from going into the gymnasium and having access to that, then they, yeah, I would suspect that they are safe in their classrooms um, because our reports are that the bats were only in the gymnasium. Now I asked the district why it took until Wednesday to decide to move students to e-learning. And Dr. Carr told me once the bats were found, the gym was closed off and they wanted to develop an action plan before going to e-learning. Reporting in Manning, Sam Shapiro, WIS. News 10.